So the way we want to do that, we'll show this first because this is intriguing. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion. Part three, Snare Figures Two. In today's episode, we re-entered having uh, listened to our what we call Snare Figures One from the last stream, which sounded like this. And we said, we really like this fast triplet right in here. And in fact, we were so interested that we actually researched um, drum rudiments and nomenclature. And um, uh, we have a couple links here. But uh, then we kind of came back and said, we're just going to keep working by how it, how it listens. So we went ahead and we composed uh, snare figures two, which sounds like this. And then, for fun, we downloaded them and overlaid them, and we got this. So, we're going to play that whole thing for you in a second. Um, then, having had the fun composing part, we went back to our as we call it, grinding the pigments, which is the importance of generating and updating our scale tonality reference areas. So we have got the 2662 scale completely updated with, it has 33 total chords, and the 3443 has 52 total chords. We updated our checklist over here. So now everything in yellow, almost everything in yellow has, has been filled in. We just have the C minor major to do next, which is on our ideas for next time. We're about halfway through that one. So our goal is to begin composing using the four newly extended scales. Now we've composed with all of them last year, but we have never composed them using the extended chords. We did not yet have those chords. And adding the extended chords, which are the 1-2s, 1-3s, 1-4s, 1-5s, gives us, for example, extra subdominant chords and extra cadence possibilities and many, many, many expanded realm to work within. So what we're going to do now to take us home is we made an animation. We took the, the snare one and we downloaded the pitched melody and the unpitched melody as separate parts and we took the snare two and we had a pitched melody an echo melody and an unpitched melody three more parts so we have a total of five things and so we have five animated objects here that we're going to play for you and here we go And what we like about this is it's so delightful. The first two are really the figure one, snare figures one, and the second group of three is snare figures two. But they're all playing parts. They're, they're, they're all together. We'll play this again. It's just we just find it delightful and the drums are not they're not cloning each other the drums are actually at different times one of them is are doing that triple roll and 
The other one's just going tap, 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 tap. And the other's going rap, tap, tap, tap. And they're not doing it at the same time. And you can see that when the blue and the orange animate. And then the piano, the the um, the yellow is actually echoing the green, a full bar behind it. Uh, and so they kind of play off of each other. And then the, the, the magenta has a completely different melody part. A completely different melody part, which include dut 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 dut, where these are all going da 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 da. Anyway, we just love it. So as we said, our ideas for next time are to begin composing using the four newly extended scales as soon as we finish <laughs> updating the big kuna, as we call it, the C minor major. Uh, acknowledgments to Nathan, who stopped by and made excellent comments. Thank you. We always appreciate that. Tune in next time to see what happens next. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.